David Zritsky for the Bond Experience. Welcome back. You know, here it is. It's a Friday night. I'm sitting here in, in my Tommy Bahama shirt. It's just very motivated from, from this week's uh, picture that came out. I've got my uh, Omega watch on. I'm feeling very sartorial. I'm feeling very Bond style. You know, it's time to have a, a Bond conversation. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pour myself. I got to get ready. It's like happy hour. I got to pour myself my Blackwell 007 rum. Nothing in it. Neat because uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sipping rum, damn it. So let me do that. Hmm? This is nice, just talking to myself. Let me tell myself a joke, let's see. Um, mushroom walks into a bar and the bartender says, we don't serve your kind in here. And the mushroom leaves and looks over his shoulder and goes, what's wrong? I I'm a fun guy, fun guy. This isn't working. This is not working. This is not as fun as I expected. Talking about the Bond lifestyle is a community activity. It's a, it's a group activity. You know what? We have technology. Through this pandemic, we've discovered ways to connect to each other. Why am I doing this? Why am I? No, we're going to do it differently. I, you know what? I'm, I'm going to invite somebody. You know what? Let me get Pete on the line. Pete Brooker. Let's see if he's just kind of hanging out, what he's doing. Pete Brooker. Pete. Hey, oh, hey, Mr. Moleman, how are you? I'm really good. How are you doing? Pete Brooker from Taylor's with Love. Welcome to the show again. Thanks, pal. I was hoping you'd call. Well, I, I know you usually just sit by your, your Zoom waiting for one of these, right? That's what you no. do. <laughs> and there you are. I just pressed the button magically. You appeared in my bedroom. Wow, Pete, what are you wearing? So wearing the NPO military sweater and the Voine sunglasses that were kindly loaned to me by a friend. And uh, I'm, I'm in the halfway house of whether I'll keep them or not, or whether I'll ship them back. So I'm, I'm let, let me push you over the line. Here. Let me push you over the line and put those in some bubble wrap and get them out of your house. Yes, no, yeah. <laughs> they're fine, fine sunglasses. Uh, Pete, what are you drinking tonight with, for, for this wonderful happy hour? So uh, I am on the turmeric tea tonight. Yes. Ooh, that's a lethal. That's, uh, yeah, well, I was debating which mug to have it in tonight, so I've opted for the gun mug, but I was thinking about the, uh, the Bond Experience mug, but oh, I figured that might be Yeah. Shameless. So, <laughs> talking of shameless, I thought I'd just, but yeah. Maybe I, I love that mug. I've used it to catch the oil under my Aston Martin. It's great. <laughs> Good. It's, it's, like, it's like a pen. It's By the wonderful. way, that, that mug with the gun looks like something that a uh, cat person would send you. But it looks nice. It is. No, it's. I, I feel like a real man. Pete, something's without, missing. Um, you look a little incomplete. I, you know, if you don't mind, um, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta invite the person that completes you a little bit. I'm gonna get Matt uh, in the room. I think I've got a, a speed dial to Matt. Let me see if I can get him in here, real quick. Matt's usually very busy on a Friday, though. So <laughs> whether he can get in here or not Watching is. Watching Bridgerton, you know. Oh. Matt. <laughs> hey guys. Matt Spazer from Bond Suits. Welcome to the show. Thanks, David. Um, Pete, what are you doing here? How you doing, Matt? Looking sharp. Thanks. That's a Pete. different background for you though, isn't it? No, same same one. Got the got the Drax Industries crate here and um, well done. Well done. We'll first, first of all, Matt, you looked very dressed up for me just catching you on a casual fly. What what are you wearing tonight? Well, I'm I'm dressed down. I'm wearing a blazer, not a suit. True. Yeah, I'm, I'm wearing a vintage blazer from, from Polo Ralph Lauren. A, uh, I'm wearing this brown striped shirt from uh, Mason and Sons that I had, uh, I, I had to make it based on the Live and Let Die brown striped shirt with the two button collar. A, uh, my usual navy grenadine tie. Yeah. And a uh, Alexander Ulch pocket round, which is from the same uh, fabric Sexy. that the No Time to Die is made of. Dude, you are styling tonight. What are you drinking? You you look you look a little uh, sloshed. Yeah, I'm I'm drinking some Chardonnay. Ooh, you're going you're going crazy tonight. I like it. Well, listen, stay here for this, Matt, because um, I I would like to bring somebody in. I'm feeling a little naked. I need some more beard power. Is what I need. So um, I'm going to try to get Harris Thomas. Now he's a, he's a busy Playboy bachelor man about town. Uh, Pennsylvanian to boot. Let's see if we can get Harris Thomas in here. I doubt it. He's, he's a very uh, 
Whoa. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Harris is Thomas, dress, dressing like doing, Bond. Dude? How are you? Nice. Gentlemen. Harris, well, as usual, you're going talking on? over my introduction of you, but keep going. <laughs> Harris, what are you wearing? Those are very blue lenses. They are. I'm probably going to actually take them off because they're uh, reflecting on the screen. But uh, yeah, no, I've, I've been glued to my computer more than ever. So a little Tom Ford blue light that uh, yeah, nice. kills my eyes, but uh, helps that. What's going on, guys? We're, we're trying to figure out. That's uh, so a Bruno Cunicelli. Uh, Fuck it. Uh, Brunello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's live. Uh, Brunello Cuccinelli. Uh, yes. Okay. Little, little cashmere uh, little coat I've been wearing all day. And, and that's, uh, that's a brand spanking shirt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah nice. a little Connolly action. A little No Time to Die. Uh, nice. Shout out to them. I said a killer that. shirt. What are you killer drinking shirt. tonight? Absolutely. Uh, I've got a little Manhattan here tonight that I just whipped myself up. So, uh, yeah, I've uh, been on that, uh, changing it up from the old fashioned, throwing a little sweet vermouth in there. Nice. You know something? Um, First of all, the three of you, thank you for joining me. I'm, I'm feeling, though, that we can actually take more of this, more Whoa. style, more, <laughs> more power, <laughs> I maybe mean, more cowbell. It's, more. it's just <laughs> awful. Uh, that's my best one. Um, so we need to have Kyle. We need to have Kyle in here. Kyle Barber, if Kyle could join us, that would be great. We've got so much to talk to him tonight. But can I, I go one more round over here? I need, Wait, I need another one. I need he's a flying like, like Superman. <laughs> Sorry, Did you get another uh, round? I'm ordering a fresh drink. Leave leave the bottle if you would. Is he is he delayed or is it me? It's, he's very delayed. <laughs> I love this. This is like a gift from the gods to have you delayed like this. Say something else, Kyle. Something else, Kyle. He's got a good seven second delay on. Nice, that's great. It takes nothing, a lot of practice. It takes a lot. Nothing of but fun tonight. All right. I, I, no, I, I think I think it's just he's had. I think he, he's just had too many drinks. I think that's all it is. That could well, very well way be. Way ahead of you guys. Not. Kyle, no, though. you're actually behind us by four seconds. <laughs> Not Kyle. Not Kyle. <laughs> Kyle, what are you drinking tonight? I have the Bollinger Special Cuvee. Hmm. Oh, baller! You went all out tonight. Bollinger seventy five. Oh my gosh, with my eyes closed, that was Roger Moore. And you're wearing, of course, Mr. Lazenby. I am. I'm Lazenby tonight. I've got the uh, NPL bomber and matching or corresponding mock polo neck. Did anybody not dress up? You know what I'm curious about? I'm curious to see what else we got going in England. You know, we got lockdown going over there. Let me, let me call Daniel. Let me say, yes, that Daniel. Let me see if we can get Daniel in here. Oh, you thought he was in New York? No, no. We're gonna, we're gonna. <laughs> let's see if I get them. To, ooh, yeah. You know what? Daniel Gaster is even better than oh, Daniel. Uh -oh. <laughs> Daniel, what were you reading? Playboy number what? Uh, Seventy-two. Oh, that's a good one. Mm. Oh, live and let die. You can't go wrong with that. No. Daniel, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Pleasure to be here. Absolutely, and I recognize your top right off the bat. But what are you wearing? I'm wearing the uh, Empil Skyfall sweater. Jeez, you guys really, you came to impress. You know, there's no women here tonight. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Everybody leaves. <laughs> Everybody just leaves. <laughs> I'm out. Good night. So, so Daniel, uh, big question. What are you, are you drinking anything tonight? Are you having any libations? Uh, I am. I'm, I'm mixing uh, red wine with water. What does that make? It hey. makes rosé, right? Mm -hmm. Sorry? Red wine and, and, and rosé, or that makes rosé, doesn't it? The uh, water and the... No, I'm not sure if that's true, but it just keep, makes sure that uh, I don't get too, uh, too over the top. <laughs> I, I don't now blame you. Film. <laughs> I don't blame you. By the way, as much as we have Pete and, and Daniel here, I, I feel the imbalance still. We've got a lot of Americans you know, gawking at the, the screen. We, we need a little bit more. You know what, Chris Hunt? Let's get Chris Hunt. Here. He's always good. He's Bond British addict. You know, he's perfect for this type of thing. And he's probably doing the, oh, did I, Chris, did we yeah, interrupt I, you? So, sorry, I was just having a drink, but, but thankfully it didn't go all down me. No, I, I know at 1026 at night uh, on a Friday, you always get dressed up and drink like that in front of a mic. Uh, yeah, this is honestly just normally what I do. It's insane that you just happen to be calling. Is it still a good time? Um. Yeah, I've got some. I've got a few minutes. Yeah, why not? We got about seven more minutes with you. Good. 
Chris, what are you wearing tonight? You you did dress up nice. Uh, yes, yeah, I'm wearing one of my one of my very many Bond references. I'm wearing the uh, Tomorrow Never Dies outfit. A uh, mm. bit more blue than charcoal, but it's one of my favorite looks. And I wear a waistcoat to work, so I figured I'd put the two together. Now I've got to I've got to admit something. It's a bit of a confessional moment here because you know I, I know these other guys. I mean Daniel Gaster has has begun some time ago doing amazing in the field review. So I do look. It's a brand spanking new sweater, and then Daniel goes hold my beer. Um, I'm going to test the sweater over ten months, David, and he does these great things on from Taylor's with love. So a lot of you know Daniel's work, and then I'm not going to talk about the other guys because they're overexposed. But Chris, I just discovered you. And uh, Kyle's like, am I exposed? Can you really see my lower GI? Chris, I just discovered you because you're taking these frugal moments and, and sometimes not frugal moments, and you're doing these like slices in your Instagram where you're showing the actual Bond and you. What, what inspired that? I love it. Um, it was basically one of the few times I just, well, many times I noticed myself wearing a reference. I was like, what if I actually had some evidence against what it looked like? Because most of the time it's just me that knows the reference. So actually having some physical proof, I did it once uh, a long time ago with one of the, um, one of the Brosnan ties and it just kicked off from there. And then I started getting these shirts from Free Eyes Only, the jumper from Skyfall, as many different things as I could. And yeah, it's, it's quite nice to see my comparison to the original one and see how close it is. It's never quite the same, but it's yes. quite nice just to see how close it can get. And British Bond Addict is the name of your handle, which is a middle finger to Pete and Daniel, but that's okay. <laughs> hey, hold on though. Chris, you and I share the same passion, I've just realized. Hold on. He thinks we're gonna wait. He, he knows we're recording, <laughs> right? I mean, it's like... We both have the pink tie. Oh, no, but his Ooh. is like really short. It's one of the people in the Bond community, Tim Gooch, only actually- My favorite tie short. of the series. I know it's yours too, David. This is a real standout. Oh, it's it's one of the, it's one of my running jokes is that every single time I post it, it gets shorter. I've only got two or three posts, and that's it. I can't wear it. Oh, yeah. You know what we need to do sometime in twenty twenty one, just to make it even a better year than it's turning out to be, is we probably all need to wear pink ties one day. Pick one day. Oh yeah. Maybe we can even do it for breast cancer awareness or something like that. But we need to. We'll figure that out. Yeah. I digress. I digress because there is another Chris I'd like to invite into this. Speaking of thrifting for bond. Chris Morales, I know it's really early. It's like, what is it, seven in the morning in California? I can't do math, but let's see if we can get Chris Morales in the house. Because we need some youth. I mean, Kyle and Harris used to be youth. Oh, he's lost his sight. Where's the Rolls Royce? Oh, oh, hey, David. (laughs) Pretending to have a Rolls, adorable. Hi, Chris. (laughs) Now, Chris, you wake wake up like this, right? Uh, You know, I'm just in my normal dress clothes, to be honest. That's I like it. What are, you, what are you wearing today? So, I mean, you mentioned thrifting for Bond, which is perfect. This is literally kind of a frugal um, inspiration from the Morocco outfit Bond wears in Spectre. Uh, originally, it was the Bruno, Brunello Chisinelli jacket. You know, I did the, the same butchering, yeah. yeah. My bad. But uh, <laughs> no lining. But this one's actually from Banana Republic. Fits oh. really well. Really lightweight. And that I had debut it because I've yet to uh, debut it. So here you guys go. Mm. I, I like it. I like it a lot. And that one Bond guy, your handle, what, one of the things I really like about what you've done is, you know, you've talked about your homeland, I call it your homeland of California, but you do thrifting for Bond better than a lot of people, better than anyone. Um, you kind of picked up the mantle of others. So you keep doing that even in a lockdown situation, you'll do it online instead of just going out to a thrift shop. So you're waving the flag. And we're going to talk about that in a second. But all right. First of all, a cheers to all of you. Thank you for being here. My brothers, my new friends, my old friends. Cheers. Wouldn't want to spend Friday night with anybody else. Uh, Even Kyle's delay is adorable. I wouldn't have that any other way. (laughs) 007 seconds. Oh, there it is. I just, you know what? You, you could read the phone book tonight and I would just be all smiles. <laughs> that's the gift that, that's the gift that keeps on giving, right? You there. know, what? I'm just going to, all the preheating for this uh, video is going to be just Kyle, like saying, <laughs> come to us. Like, it's just going to be all like Japanese dubbing. Um, but here's the premise of tonight. Mm-hmm. You could tell by the video. This is for those people that love Bond style. And even if it's not just Bond style, it's style in general, because I needed my homies, my friends. I've got questions and I didn't want to ponder them alone. You saw how well that went in the beginning. 
So we're going to kind of go around and we're going to, we're going to pick everybody's brain. We're going to have some drinks. We're going to laugh. We're going to mess up. We're going to make errors and uh, you're along for the ride. So stick with us. First question we're going to do is kind of a simple one. We're going to start with Harris and um, Harris, we're going to talk about getting the bond look. And one of the things I like about your social media is dressing like bond was born out of you just being you dressing like Bond and Bond brands every single day for your work, uh, for your play. But there is something when we all do what we did tonight, which was to dress in Bond-esque or getting a Bond look. And to Matt's point, it doesn't need to be the brand, but there is a certain Bond look. There's something to it. Maybe it's emotional, maybe it's physical, but what is getting the Bond look to you? I think, um... Being classic, I think Bond is classic. And I think that regardless of what brand, how much something is versus thrifting or what, whatever, I think if you, you know, it, where you find a dark, dark suit, dark jacket, uh, white shirt, dark tie, that's classic, right? That's classic. It doesn't matter what decade you're in, whether you're Cary Grant, Sean Connery, or Matthew McConaughey in 2021. Uh, it's still James Bond. And I think that for me, and if you look at everyone here on the screen, we're all classically dressed, no matter what, you know, from Kyle's uh, turtleneck to your Tommy Bahama black shirt. I mean, it's it's classic, it's elegant. Um, it's, it's not trendy, you know, it, it, it's stylish, but not trendy. And there's a huge difference between style and fashion. Um, and fashion is, you know, ever changing, you know, with the trends and everything like that. But for me, it's, it's, how do you get that bond look is, you know, for me, it's, you know, Matt, you'll, you'll totally, you know, hear me on this. It's just, it's a blue grenadine tie. It's a dark Navy grenadine tie, uh, with a dark jacket suit. Uh, that's, like that's it. the bond look, uh, which again is classic. And I think that bond is a classic element that, uh, will remain the test of time. Well, classic is a great way to describe it. It's almost like a, a trope to call it that. It's not something trendy. Um, but, you know, Daniel Gaster, you have been called, and I quote, the Harris Thomas dressing like Bond of the UK. That's not a quote. I just made that up. But <laughs> as somebody that also wears the Bond aspects, the Bond look every day, would you agree with Harris? And what would you add to that? I do agree with Harris. I, I don't think there's much more you can add to that. I think he, he's, he's defined that quite well. Um, I think the only other thing to it is for me would be confidence. I think one of the thing that, mm. one of the things I think with uh, dressing well, whether that's formally or casually um, like, you know, there's a selection of us that have gone either way, but um, we feel comfortable in what we're wearing. We feel confident in what we're wearing. And I think that portrays something as well. It's not just what we're wearing, it's how it makes us feel as well. That's a great point because, you know, one of the things that I think people that don't imbibe, if you will, in the Bond lifestyle is they say, well, it borders on cosplay until it doesn't, until it becomes hmm. really a part of you. Matt, you know, cosplay yeah. versus the Bond look. I mean, you've been called, and I quote, the Matt Spazer of Matt Spazers. <laughs> um, what do you think about that? Is it cosplay or is it classic style looks? Yeah, I think it is mostly classic style looks. Uh, it's, it's cosplay if we're going to be putting on a Bond outfit in, in a situation that doesn't call for that outfit. That, that is cosplay. It's, it's cosplay to, to wear uh, a dinner jacket to breakfast. But but it's um, but if we're wearing a dinner jacket, just like what Bond would wear to the opera, that is not cosplay. You know, or if you're you know if you're um, if Kyle wanted to wear his outfit in the Bahamas, that's cosplay. But if he wears it in the Alps, no, that's not cosplay. So so I, I think that that comes down, it comes down to how we wear the clothes, and I think it also helps that we you know to to prevent it from being cosplay is to to put our own twist on it. And that's what I see that most of us are doing here. You know, um, you know I, I really like how, how, how Harris is wearing Bond items, but not in the way that Bond wore them. That, that also takes it out of cosplay and makes it our own. I totally agree. And it's funny too, because Daniel, I'm gonna embrace something you said and I hope everybody watching this embraces it. It, it is a lot of the confidence. Like you could walk out and go, oh gosh, are they going to recognize me in the Tommy Bahama from No Time to Die, which nobody will, except us geeks. 
But if you, if you just say, you know something, I did buy it for this reason, but I've made it my own. Like that RTG jacket, I wear that. That's, that's the David Zaritsky jacket. That's not even the no time to die jacket anymore. Um, and, and I think this next gentleman has proven that you don't have to wear these styles, this Bond look to the opera. You could, you could literally walk in your cockapoo to take a poo. <laughs> and that is Peter Brooker. Peter Brooker getting the Bond look. What is it, what is it to you? Yeah, and it's funny you mentioned Roger the cockapoo. And Daniel, you mentioned confidence. This literally just happened to me a couple of days ago. So we're trying to get Roger to mate. He's, he's now been put out for stud. We're going to get mini Rogers. And is this true? I, it's true. It's true. <laughs> so you're going to pull a Zorin? I will. I'm going to, I'm going to manipulate and populate the world. You're literally trying to make him Roger Moore, right? Yes, more, more Roger. <laughs> more Rogers. <laughs> anyway, um, so I had to go meet this gentleman who wanted to introduce his bitch to Roger. And it was quite late at night. I didn't know who the guy was. It was a mysterious phone call and I had to meet him. It was all very cloak and dagger stuff in a park just to see if the dogs were going to get along. And I was nervous pretty much all day with this, you know, meeting the guy in the strange park. So I, I went there an hour early. I cased out the place, you know, memorized a few number plates on the cars around. That, that's all um, superfluous. But I was wearing clothes that bolstered my confidence. I was wearing this sweater. You know, I put on the mm. NPL gloves. I put on the RGT jacket. I did a bit of shadow boxing in the mirror before I went out. So I was kind of <laughs> pumped. But it was the confidence, like the, the clothes, I should say, that gave me the confidence and, and you know, and buttressed me when I went out to, to that meeting. Yeah, it does something to our personalities. And I have a problem with people that say, oh my gosh, you know, what? You, can't you just be yourself? Everybody is an amalgamation of all the experiences of their life. Otherwise, you know, you'd be this little cheruby baby, you know, at 52 years of age. So, you know, taking things from a, a style icon is not the worst template in the world. I mean, we're not doing, you know, you know some other person that we wouldn't do that. Uh, Chris, Chris Hunt, you know, you've done this, you've taken this style icon and template, and you've created your own Bond look, sometimes not even using the brands. But, you know, would you agree with these gentlemen so far? And what would you add to it? I think so far, everything everyone has said has been spot on. Like, it's all about the confidence. But the one thing for me is the enjoyment factor. Like, when mm. I do this, I do it because, not necessarily because it's fun. Like, I have done things which are fun before, like doing a tie ridiculously short, just because we, we like to rib on that scene. Everyone does. But the going out and having a moment that's just for you, I think, like, as you said before, David, the invisible bond moment, if it's the strap on your tie, or uh, sorry, the strap on your watch or the tie that you're wearing, if it gives you no sense of satisfaction and fun, that gives you the confidence and your confidence is when you're at your best. So if it helps, absolutely do it. And it doesn't have to be in every single moment. Not everything I wear is related to Bond. Most, most of the times it honestly is. But whenever it does, if you notice it, I feel like that's the most important thing. Enjoying yourself, going out there and just finding that little bit more just to make you stand that one inch taller. That's honestly what it is to me. And that's perfect because I tell you, when you say fun factor, I also, I also think of escapism. I mean, I've been in before lockdown, obviously, so many meetings where, you know, things are maybe rolling a little bit slower. Maybe it's not your part for another two hours. And suddenly you look at a watch or you, you look down at your shirt and you, you're taken back to that moment. Um, you know, Chris Morales, I mean, you, you've kind of lived and breathed that. You, you first entered into the Bond community kind of replicating those moments from the film. So, I mean, getting the Bond look has been a bit of a passion for yours, hasn't it? Yeah, it, it truly has. I mean, first off, what everyone else has said is, is a huge reason why I put so much effort into creating the outfits, uh, whether it's the actual branded items or just replicating it. I mean, the matter of the fact is we look at Bond as somebody that is smart. He is able to do things and, you know, successful. And I believe each and every one of us want to have that in our lives. And a way to get closer to that is starting off with oneself and oneself let's put for into words is a lot of clothing that you wear is is a representation of yourself a lot of people you know look at you and what's the first thing that they see it's clothing right so i like to do it because at least for my age group a lot of that is like not really apparent anymore 
And I mean, I want to quote Mr. Harris Thomas, who told me this is that, you know, dressing in something like this is a lost art nowadays, which re really motivated me was to bring back the art of style and, and dressing like Bond and, and for say, and it's really been a passion of mine because no one really else, at least around me and my other friend groups outside of the Bond community do that anymore. So it's been really a great journey to take notes from all the greats that are on this chat and then even put my own spin on it as well. Chris, I got to tell you something, you know, and, and I, want, I do want to point out, not ageism, you're 20 years old. Harris used to be the young guy in the group and now people are quoting him. That's crazy. That's... <laughs> You're, you're like the I'm sage drink Yoda. That. I'm going to drink, <laughs> drink on that. On we're that all, all going to start drinking ah. on that. Yeah, um, cheers. Ah. Is it, now it's a drinking game. Welcome, everybody. Well, drink Kyle's out your behind. Pete. That's all I know. Kyle is behind. Well, Kyle we're getting to behind. Kyle right now. But before we get to Kyle, I do want to make mention of something very interesting that's happening very early in this video. And that is, whether it's Matt talking about it's not so much you know, the brand or an exact replica or, or Chris Morales talking about um, thrifting for Bond and that you don't have to spend, you know, $125 on a Tommy Bahama. You could probably go to Target very easily and get a $25 shirt that looks exactly like it or an Amazon, Chris, as, as you found. This is about kind of what's between these two things right here. This, getting the Bond look is as much mental as it is fabric and accessories. Because if you feel that you've captured that moment, to me, that's like 90% of it. Yeah, I think, I think we tend to get a little, and, and I'm pointing to me, we tend to get a little mired in brands and luxury and things like that. And because we get very swept up in it, and that's fun. But I think we do need to kind of roll it back a little bit and say, what is the essence that we're getting out of this? And Kyle, I know as somebody that's been drinking all day, there's a lot of essence coming from your pores right now. What what would you say is some of those things that motivate you to get the bond look? That's that a great why I'm seven seconds delayed. Um, <laughs> the, one of the things that motivates me is James Bond is a stylish man, but he's not an ostentatious person. He's not like Patrick Bateman who's lording over you. You know, I, this came from Jean-Paul Gaultier. This came from Armani. This came from Brunello Cuccinelli. He doesn't brag. He wears the best but he doesn't throw it in your face. And it, it's important to remember that we wear these things because they make us feel good. They make us feel confident. They make us look good, not because of what the brands are, how much they cost. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.